Good morning my friends, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be installing a light bar on the Jimny and we're gonna be installing some decals. So let's go. Alright, so this is the 42 inch LED light bar from Oxbeam. It's part of the 5D Pro Series light bars. It features a combo beam with projector lens in the middle to give you that focus long distance beam. And it has dual row LEDs on either side to give you that widespread of light. Now this light bar outputs 44,000 lumens of light and it has a die cast aluminum alloy heatsink, which allows for efficient dissipation of heat. It has an IP68 waterproof rating, and it comes with all of the necessary hardware needed to mount it. So it comes with the wiring harness, which is 10 feet long and has all of the necessary components already built in. So it comes with a clip that clips directly to the light bar, it has your battery terminals that connects to your battery. It has an inline fuse. It has a relay and you have your rocker switch. So this is a complete plug and play design that you just mount your light bar and you wire your lights. No cutting of wire or anything like that. So for mounting hardware, it comes with two options. You have your side mount brackets and it also comes with some bottom mounts so whichever works for you you can use that one also included in the box was an instruction manual and of course the oxbeam sticker which would be installing later on so now that we know about the light bar let's get to installing it so i just placed the light bar on the roof where i would like it to sit i mounted using the bottom mounts but as you could see here the mount doesn't sit flush on the roof because of the curvature of the roof now I can fix this using two methods. I could either make a shim that would go under the mount to level off the space, or I could use a grinder and grind the mounts. Now, if I do either of those options, I would still have to drill a hole on the roof, which I'm refraining from doing because later on that would cause rust and eventually cause the roof to rot out. So let's look at the side mounting option. All right, so I have the side bracket here. You could see if we were to use them, they would be too short to mount the light bar where I would like it to be. So I can't use either of the side brackets or the bottom brackets. So I'm gonna have to fabricate my own brackets to mount this light bar. So I went ahead and made these two brackets to mount the light bar. They are made from some Z building that I had laying around. So this one is for the passenger side and this one is for the driver side. So let me show you how they mount up. All right, so this is how I made the bracket. I made them to fit like this, just like that, to mount the light bar. As you could see, I have three holes inside the door jam, which would be installing some rivet nuts, so the bracket can be removable. And also the bracket is shaped to match the curvature of the van. All right, and on top, I have two holes that would match up with the light bar, so it doesn't rotate or anything like that. So next up, I'm going to drill three holes here and add some rib nuts. All right, so we just finished peeing the light bar brackets. So while I'm drying, 
let's figure out where we want to mount the switch. So I want to mount the switch right here. So in order to mount the switch here, we're going to take off this piece and drill a hole for the switch and mount it right there. All right guys, so that's the piece there. So we're going to drill a hole here for the switch. All right, so we drill the hole and we install the switch. So now we just click back this here. Like that, and we pull in the piece. All right, so we have our light bar switch now. So now we could go ahead and route the wire from the bonnet to connect here. All right, so let me show you how the wire is gonna run. This piece is gonna go up the pillar right here to connect to the light bar. We have the two terminals for the battery, positive and negative. We have the relay, which we're gonna mount on one of these factory screws here. And we have the connector that needs to go inside the cabin to connect to the switch. Now there's a grommet right here that I'm gonna pass the wire through, but this connector can't pass through that. So I'm gonna have to deepen this, pass through the wires, and reconnect the connector on the other side. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to deepen the connector here. So you're gonna need a small flat head like this, and you're gonna need a connector. So if you look at the connector, you'd see a big hole here, and then you'd see a small hole here to the opposite side of the big one. What we're gonna do is put the flat head inside the small space in there, Add a little tension on your wire and then give it a little twist and your wire would pop out. Now you want to make sure you take a photo of the clip before you deepen it. That way afterwards you can connect it back properly. So I'm going to finish deepening this and we're going to route the wire. Alright so we just finished the wire connections. Here we have the battery terminal connection. We have the relay mounted there. Wire run here and into the grommet inside. Then it run under the dashboard and back over to the switch right here. All right, so wire run under the dashboard, across there, up here, back to the switch. All right, so next step is to install the light bar. Before we mount the light bar, I just wanna mention that this light bar not gonna be connected 24 seven all of the time. It's only going to be connected when we're going on trails because of our local laws here. Now, when the light bar not connected, let me show you what I'm going to do to the holes so water doesn't get inside it. All right, so these are the three holes for the brackets here. Now, when we not using the light bar, these holes are going to be covered by this piece of rubber here, like that, and we're going to screen the three screws and that would um, keep water from going into the holes to cause any damages on the inside. All right, so when you're ready to use the light bar, we just remove that and we put our bracket. So now that we complete with the wiring and everything, let's mount the brackets on the chimney, mount the light bar and see how everything looks. So these, how the brackets came out. You can see it has a nice matte black finish on it. Really happy with that. So let's get it mounted on the chimney and get the light bar mounted. All right, so we just mount the brackets using screws and we have rubber washers in between the plate and the van here and we have lock washers to keep everything nice and secure all right so bracket on the foam on both sides so let's mount the light bar now
All right, guys, so that's how it looks with the light bar mounted. Really happy with how that looks. Let me show you how it looks uh, up close. So yeah, you can see how it looks original. Doesn't look like that was fabricated or anything like that. It looks really nice, really neat. Uh, the only thing I have to do is I have to get some magnets to um, manage this cable. But like I said, this light bar is not gonna be mounted 24 seven only when I need it for trails. But other than that, really happy with how it turned out. So next, let's install some decals on the side of the chimney and see how it looks. A little while ago, I asked on my Instagram page what I should name the chimney and one of my friend Priscilla, she suggested that I name it Xerxes, which I really love. Um, it means uh, ruler of heroes and it pronounced with a Z, like my name and stuff. So I really love that. Um, so we have two Xerxes decal. We have Java Auto Spa, which is one of my sponsor. Uh, you need to check them out if you have not yet. They provide a really great service. And lastly, we have some YouTube stickers to add on the van. So let's add those on the van and see how it looks. so I went ahead and I made a light bar cover in case you all were wondering how I made it I just stuck some velcro to a piece of leather using some evo stick glue and the leather just wraps around the light bar and stick to the back like that all right so that's how I made the cover in case you all were wondering to test the light bar I chose this overgrown piece of land to simulate off-road conditions because when off-roading, the path is not always clear. You could really see the limitations of the headlight here, not being able to illuminate beyond the blades of grass. Even with high beams, the headlight were too low to the ground to cast a beam over the grass. Comparing with the light bar, you could really see the difference it makes. Keep in mind, this light bar can shoot a lot further, but this is where I find it suitable for my needs. All right guys, so that's it for this video. Really happy with how everything turned out. A huge thank you for Oxbeam for sending us the light bar. Link in the description if you would like to pick up one yourself. If you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, leave some good vibes in the comments, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.